So I get asked all the time, how do you do it? How do you get inside my head? Well, first of all, there's not a lot going on in there, so it's not too hard to get in. Better question, what are you doing home alone on a Friday night watching Lifetime movies? Twisted desire, come on. Spoiler alert, the deadbeat ex-husband winds up in jail. She takes the kids, moves to a horse farm in El Paso. <laughs> Secondly, I'm in your head because I live there. 1623 Chatterbox Lane, right next to that old memory of your high school boyfriend, Eric, that keeps trying to get your attention. Don't worry, he's doing just fine. Aside from a buttery mustache and 40 pounds, he's every bit the JV football star he once was. One mention, and here they come, your dusty memories like the running bulls of Pamplona. What if I married the wrong person? What if I should have married Eric instead? I wonder if he's on Facebook. <laughs> and this is where I've got you. Now, I can't convince you Eric was the right one, but I can create fear and regret. And once those thoughts start, well, good luck slowing down that train. All aboard, next stop, sweet dreams of Eric's mustache. <laughs> no relief in sight. And I sit back and admire the problem. But don't worry, I'll see you again tomorrow.